What is up fitness fam and welcome back to my channel. So we are already back at it again with another at home quarantine edition lower body workout. <laughs> Come here. Yo, you guys saw that? He is such a brat. He gets so mad whenever I'm filming and I'm not paying attention to him. You go over there. I know a lot of you guys are still quarantined at home. I cannot believe we are already into 2021 and we are still in quarantine. But that is not stopping us from achieving our goals, obviously. So I put together a low body workout routine that you guys can follow from the comfort of your own home. All that is required for this workout is obviously a glute band. I rarely put together a low body workout without incorporating some glute bands. You'll also need two pair of dumbbells. The ones I'm using is 10 pounds. I literally got them from Target about a year or two ago and I've been using them ever since and also my glue band is from my protein I really like this one because it's really strong as you guys can see and I'll also make sure to link this glue band down below obviously I also recommend to get a yoga mat that you can work out on so you have some kind of soft flooring if you put your knees on it or something like that lastly I cannot workout without my pre-workout. I know not all of you drink pre-workout and that's totally understandable, but I cannot live without it. So the pre-workout that I'm taking is also from my protein. This is my favorite one, the black cherry vanilla flavor. Definitely recommend this one. They also have one that's stronger that I also been using recently called the pre-workout plus. And let me tell you, that one hits hard too. But sometimes you just need a little something. So I definitely recommend drinking this one if you would like. And with that said, I think we're pretty much ready to get into this workout. So grab your yoga mat, your dumbbells, your glue band, maybe your pre-workout, and let's get started. For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you, but I keep crashing back. What is up you guys and welcome to this video's voiceover starting off with the first movement we are incorporating the glute band also as i'm demonstrating you can tuck in your pelvis and squeeze your glutes but some people are more comfortable with having a little bit of a lower back arch it's really all up to you how you feel the most comfortable but i personally like to just tuck in my pelvis just a little bit i also make sure to keep my glutes tight throughout the movement another thing you have to focus on is try to make your torso as straight as possible try not to let your ribs flare out throughout the movement the only joint you want to primarily be moving in this exercise is your hips so the reason why I love incorporating the glute band to hip thrust movements, especially these ones where you can't really add a lot of weight, is because you are constantly struggling with keeping your feet at shoulder width apart, which means that you're definitely targeting your gluteus medius, aka your side glutes, way more by adding the glute band while you're doing the hip thrust movement. And as Suba said, these hip thrusts with the glute band with the hip thrust abductions so you basically just hold the hip thrust at the top squeeze your glutes while you are doing hip abductions moving on to the next exercise which is pulse goblet squats i really like these and also if you want these to be more difficult you can always add the glute band if you would like but basically here, what you want to focus on is to keep your core tight and allow your knees to go forward simultaneously with your hips going backwards. So it's almost like there's two strings pulling your hips backwards while they're also pulling your knees forward at the same time. Make sure to keep an upright torso, chest out, do not let your chest cave in. And I usually prefer to just look forward, but it's obviously up to you if you feel like you can hold your balance better by looking in the ground. But it's definitely better for your spine over time if you just have a forward look also you can choose to hold the dumbbells like I'm doing like that you also have to make sure to keep your lats tight throughout the movement but you can also have it more as a potato hold where they're basically hanging down towards the ground and as super said the pulse goblet squats with the band kickbacks 
uh, I do want to say a little disclaimer that yes, I definitely put my back into it. <laughs> yes, I know that I'm rocking a lot back and forth, but I really wanted to increase the intensity by really pushing my leg backwards to the max and really squeezing my glutes as I'm doing it. I also try to lower the speed of the concentric movement of the movement. So basically when I go back to the starting position, just to really get the most out of the exercise and perform it in a more controlled way. Moving on to reverse lunges to curtsy squats. These are terrifying to me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it definitely will burn up your legs. So this is not only a glute movement, the curtsy squats is a little bit more glute focused, but the reverse lunges are definitely complete leg movement, especially focusing on your quads. So the more muscles that an exercise is targeting, the more it basically hurts. At least that's just how it is for me. But it's a really good and effective exercise. Definitely teaches you a lot about balance. And also just make sure to not rush this exercise. Take a step behind you for the reverse lunge in a nice and controlled way. And the same goes for the curtsy squat. All right, so moving on to a more glute focused workout. So as you can see, I already corrected my pelvis. I feel like a lot of women, unfortunately, especially on Instagram, do this movement a little over exaggerated, but to protect your lower spine and really target your glutes in the best way possible, you want to tuck in your pelvis just a little bit. Make sure your spine is nice and straight and not over arched. And obviously you can do this exercise with some ankle weights, but dumbbells are just as great. You can just tuck it in right behind your knee and squeeze it lightly to keep the dumbbell in place. Fire hydrants usually target your gluteus medius, AKA your side glutes more, which also will give you the illusion of wider hips. Just another reason why I absolutely love fire hydrants so much and why I love to incorporate them in a lot of my workouts as well. Moving on to the last exercise, which is the low donkey kicks. Obviously, you're going to have more of a natural arch, but I definitely recommend to still tuck in your pelvis throughout the movement. That is it for this workout. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more workouts just like this one or a similar workouts, I do have an app where I can be more hands-on with everybody that joins. So if you would like consistent results, if you would like to grow that beautiful hourglass physique, I have all of my workout programs in the app available for you. For not to mention a lot of free follow along meal plans. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to click the link down below to join and also message me if you have any questions. With that said, I really hope you guys are going to achieve your fitness goals in this new year. I really hope that you guys are going to take your goals into your own hands, regardless of the circumstances of whatever is happening in the world. I really wish you all the very best and I hope to see you guys throughout these many workout videos I'm going to be posting this year and before you leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to watch more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye